or day 14, Crunchy the second, and Nananum, members of the board, longtime Ashesi friend and guest speaker, Sir Sam Jonah, parents, family, and friends, my incredible colleagues, and dear class of 2022. Welcome to the 18th commencement ceremony of Ashesi University. What a joy it is to join you this afternoon to celebrate the accomplishments and the promising future of our graduating students. Class of 2022, what a thrill to have spent this final year with you on campus as the world steadily recovers from the COVID-19 pandemic. When you first enrolled at a chassis four years ago, none of us imagined that our lives would be disrupted by a global pandemic. Your four years at Ashesi, and especially the past two years, have held important lessons for you as you step into the next chapter of your life. Let me say a huge thank you for the tremendous work that your class did this academic year, restarting campus traditions and helping secure Ashesi's culture with the classes that enrolled after you, especially those whose introduction to Ashesi University was online. I salute you for your hard work and your perseverance. The Chinese military strategist, Sun Tzu, would call you heaven-born captains. Why? Because you pursued your purpose like water running over uneven ground your alma mater and you changed our shape as we moved on to online instruction in response to the pandemic. But like water, our nature did not change, even as we faced obstacles. Water's chemical composition remains H2O, even as it flows over and around obstacles. In the same way, even as we changed our form to online education, we remain true to who we are, committed to the ideal of ethical action, to being student-centered, to caring about everyone in our community, and to holding each other accountable. Above all, like a flowing river, we persisted. Today's ceremony, in fact, has been the same. Despite a disruptive thunderstorm, yesterday that forced us to modify our commencement program and even switch to a new location on campus within 24 hours. We kept flowing. We remained persistent like water. Remember these lessons as you continue your journey. In this year of your commencement, we also celebrate the 20th anniversary of Ashesi University. What an incredible journey it has been. This year, you join alumni, including members of our pioneer class, who first stepped into Ashesi's classrooms 20 years ago. Alumni Council President Abdul Latif, who serves on the board and is on the stage here with me, was in that class. When he joined Ashesi's class in 2005, only 5% of college-age individuals in Africa could access higher education. Over the past three decades, more than 1,400 new universities have been established across Sub-Saharan Africa, bringing an enrollment up to 10%. Ashesi was one of them, one with a special mission. As I reflected on what to share with you today, I decided to revisit all the commencement speeches I have ever made over the years. It has been a wonderful journey down memory lane for me, but I thought I'd share with you a few words from just our first five commencement ceremonies today. So walk with me down memory lane. At our first commencement, I reviewed our mission with the Pioneer Class of 2015. And this is what I said. There is a vision that Ashesi represents, a vision of a peaceful and prosperous Africa, a vision of a people imbued with the freedom to seek what is true 
and to live more excellent lives. We strive towards an idea of what our world should be, knowing very well that we start from a position of disadvantage. Yet the very size of the task confronting us is what will make this expedition so poignant and so meaningful. The Ashesi team is motivated by the vision of an educational system in Africa that requires all future leaders to reflect on the quintessential questions about what a good society is and how it might be organized. What a difference we will make when other institutions follow our example. We can all imagine what would happen if all of Africa's teachers, doctors, engineers, politicians, policemen, military officers understood the awesome responsibility that lies on their shoulders as guardians of our society. Our second class, the class of 2006, was extraordinarily ambitious. They called themselves Ashesi's greatest class. And they said this for the entire four years that they were at Ashesi. So on their commencement day to the class that called itself Ashesi's greatest class, I expressed confidence in their ability to achieve their ambitions. But I urged them to be as ambitious about how hard they would work and the ideals that they would express as they were about what they would achieve. The future depends on what we do today. But really, greatness is measured by the future. Whether you're great or not is something for posterity to, to decide. And knowing that the future depends on what we do today, any aspirations for greatness requires deep reflection about the essence of living a meaningful life today in a manner that builds a lasting legacy for future generations. The class of 2007, which my fellow board member, Yawa Hansen Kwao, was a member of, graduated during the 50th anniversary celebration of Ghana's independence. As such, my remarks to them centered on a conversation about the progress that Ghana had made and the magnitude of what remained to be done. Listen, I said. It'll take a tremendous amount of courage from each of us to bring true freedom to the people of this continent. I was referring to economic freedom. We must have the courage to face our reality, to be humble, to tackle our condition with the urgency it deserves. We will need to see our world with new eyes. We will need a new generation of ethical leaders who possess the gift of empathy and the courage it will take to transform a continent. We will need courage to always take the honorable road instead of taking shortcuts. And in 2007, I said, I feel a great sense of urgency because I believe that this moment is a pivotal one for Africa. First, the march of democracy and free markets across the continent show that we have finally come to a consensus about the right approach for development. This is an unprecedented opportunity in our history. Second, the most economically advanced countries in this world have moved from a posture of exploiting the weakest nations on Earth and are now actively interested in the condition of the African continent. This again is unprecedented in the history of this continent since it's the collision of our civilization with Europe. But I fear that this window will not remain open for too much longer. That's what I told the class of 2007. Our fourth class, the class of 2008, was a remarkable class. They recorded no AJC cases during their time here, which is amazing. They still hold that record. Um, and they ushered in a chassis on a code in their final year here. And to them, I said, just as every organism on Earth has a built-in ability to confront its most dire problems, 
Every organization and every society has a native capacity to confront its gravest challenges as well. For organisms, one thinks of genetics and immune systems, instinct and adaptability. For corporations and societies, our minds are drawn to technology and innovation, character and intelligence. For Africa, the intrinsic power to cope with our greatest challenges and to chart a new course rests in the African people, especially in those people we call our leaders. Our understanding of the power of enlightened leadership is what drives us at Ashesi to strive for excellence and to infuse into the fabric of this institution a collective commitment to ethical, entrepreneurial, and courageous citizenship. Your decision to adopt an honor code for all members of your class was unprecedented in the history of this country. It was a singular act of courage for which you should be enormously proud and for which your Shesi community will be eternally grateful. Imagine what a difference you will make to your alma mater when others build on your example. Imagine what a profound change you would have caused in Africa if the students of every institution of higher learning decided to follow your example, to work and live by their honor, and in so doing, develop the habits that will unleash a wave of inspired leadership across the African landscape. And I'll talk about one more class, the class of 2009. They graduated in the year that America inaugurated the first president of African descent, Barack Obama. The greatest human achievements, I said to them, are made by those who endeavor in the face of enormous risks, who have the curiosity to explore the unknown, and who are unafraid to challenge the status quo. There is a vision that Ghana represents the vision of an African star. Achieving this dream will require sacrifice and great daring and honor. And in an echo of a speech made by Obama, I encourage the class to rise and be counted among those who dare to say, yes, we can. So class of 2022, I come to you. One of Ashesi's finest classes. I like the way you said that. You graduate at an eventful time, even as we celebrate our 20th anniversary. The messages that I have had for Ashesi's graduating seniors over the years are as relevant today as they were even in our very first years. As one of only 10% of your peers who have received a post-secondary education in Africa, you will almost certainly be present in the rooms and at the tables where important decisions are made on our continent. Your thoughts, your decisions, your actions will matter a great deal. Recent events in Africa and around the world remind us how critically important our mission is. Back in 2002, when we opened Ashesi's doors, Africa was in the midst of a steady march towards democratic governance. Today, we have seen three countries in West Africa experience a return to military rule. Across the continent, citizens of African countries complain about corruption in public governance. We also see today the increasing danger of terrorist activity in the Sahel and beyond following the destabilization of Libya. We see the eruption of war in Europe that appears to be returning our world to the years of Cold War geopolitics that caused great harm to developing countries and is already causing tremors in the global economy. And as I have already mentioned, we have had to contend with the global pandemic over the past two years. So now more than ever, we see the importance of strengthening African economies. 
as vaccines were hoarded in the face of a global medical emergency, as exports of food are restricted by some countries around the world, and as economic embargoes are implemented in response to the Ukraine-Russia war, African and other developing economies are exposed to spiraling inflation, shortages of essential commodities, and very real risk of social upheaval. Our task is more urgent than ever before. As I've said to Ashesi graduates over the years, you're ready to confront these challenges, class of 2022. You have learned to think critically, analytically, and coherently. You have learned to design creative solutions to difficult problems. You have held firmly to the highest standards of personal conduct and the trust that comes with it. You have learned to be unafraid to ask questions and to deal with ambiguity. Above all, you have learned to be of service to those around you, to do some good in the world. I know this because these skills and attributes are built into the education that you have experienced and been assessed on here. I know this because the certificate that you have earned today tells me you're ready. Unlike members of the class of 2005, who stood at the very tip of our drive to realize Ashesi's mission, you will be joining an alumni body that is 1,800 strong. You're graduating from an institution that is now known and respected in this country and in others across Africa. Build on these advantages everywhere you go. Gather others to your cause. As I've said in many commencement speeches over the years, let us commit ourselves to sharing what we have, our mission, with others. Because the task at hand will require many more institutions in Ashesi to be engaged in this mission. It has been a joy to spend these past months with you, especially after the disruption of the pandemic. We will miss you, but this is not goodbye. You will always have a home here. You will always be welcome here. I wish you all the best of success, and I look forward to your contributions in the years to come. Thank you very much. And congratulations, class of 2022.